Nuh uh uh, no peeking. I'm what? Putting the finishing touches on my personal project. <laughs> I thought you said it was on the Nexus. I'm just perfecting the final component here, or should I say, trying to. What are you Several doing? Several of the crew have offered to help, and I keep politely declining and ushering them out. Yeah, they want to know what you're so, doing. So, thank you for retrieving that critical piece of Remtech. But kindly, stop digging. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. So, in the last episode, we took down that giant monster. I don't even remember what it's called anymore. But, giant monster in here. Um, so now I guess we get to uh, actually search this place. <laughs> um, we have to go back and speak with Priya as well, because we've... I think we've sort of discovered what happened to her crew. Um, so let's just take a quick peek around here. I've been running around this thing in the last episode like crazy, but I didn't really stop to grab anything because we were kind of in a bit of a... kind of a rush. <laughs> so let's just quickly run around here and see if there's any containers and things of that nature to pick up. That was an intense fight. I really, like, I had to restart it once, so I think I didn't do too bad. Uh, but <laughs> I was I was a little worried that I was going to be there forever trying to um, trying to take that thing down, restarting over and over again. But in the end, one death. Or actually, I guess two deaths, because in the beginning I was really silly and I ran right into the center, didn't I, and zapped myself to death. All right, so we've done this building right here, the big circular one. <clears throat> so let's jump over to this one. I did pick up some stuff. Like, there were crates that I was opening as I was running around. But I'm pretty sure I probably missed a few. And I don't want to miss, like, a data pad or something else that could... Like this, that was probably one that I'd opened. Alright, so we've been there, we've been here. Let's Extreme go over to this one. Is detected, Pathfinder. I know. We knew all about oh, here's a container. Oh wow, look at all this stuff. Okay, yeah. We, we and one thing that I definitely want to be doing here sooner than later, and I think I've said this a few times, but I need to actually get into weapon and armor modding. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Is there anything? So one thing I'm going to have to do now that we've basically, I think, cleared out this planet. we got to go back talk to Priya, and then I think we got to go onto the Tempest. I think we're pretty much done here now. Let's take all this stuff. But one thing I will be doing is going around and mining this planet to get more resources so that we can do some of that modding. So one, two, three, we've done those three buildings. So we'll leave the one with our, I don't know, we're here, we'll just go to this one right now. We've only got, I think, what, three buildings left? We've got something right here underneath. Take that, only four? Ah, that stinks. What else have we got in here? <clears throat> Anything else? Doesn't look like there's anything else here. That thing shut down too. Oh no, it's still going, never mind. Uh, so there's the central one. So we have this one over here to do. I think there's one more over there. And then you're good. Oh, 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 oh. You gonna have more than four? Five. Wow. Such a bounty. We got a container here. Okay. No idea what you're for, but I'll take you. Anything else going on? Alright. And then this one right over here, I think, is the last. Unless we've done this one. We might have actually done this one. Just take a quick peek. Uh, any containers? Doesn't look like it. All right. Oh, we got a thing right here. Uh, that's a generator, but nothing we care too much about. Let's go grab this. More platinum. Three. So we found a three, a four, and a five. All right, so back to... 
our rover, which should be just over this way. Probably should walk into a nice warm spot along the way. Uh, jump. We can jump up into this thing here and we'll warm up before we get back into the truck. Save temperature. There we go. And then out of here. <clears throat> so I was I thought that we might find something there about the crew, right? But I guess not. Let's just back this up. Now, one thing that I think might be interesting to do is we could just jump straight over to here, but we found some interesting stuff along the back way here. So if I just actually drive around through here and then back up to here, we might run into some more interesting things. So where is my little waypoint marker? There, so we're going this way. Let's see if we can actually get up out of here through this little spot right here unless we go to like a level three kind of zone right oh or we can't get up here at all the map made it seem like you could go this way <laughs> but maybe not come on no Okay, let's back this up. Let's take a run at it and see if we can get up here. And... Come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, little buddy. There we go. Boom. I don't know what we were all so worried about. Okay. Let's go this way. And let's follow this, let's let this thing wrap around for us. That's so cool. I love the rings. See if we can actually get to our home base through here and see if we find anything interesting along the way. But it's not looking so... I felt like the map said we go around to the... The map seems to have led us astray here. So we've gone up to here. Let's see if we can actually go this way. Where is our waypoint? That way. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so the map looks like it might, but I, I'm not reading the, uh, the terrain level obviously very well. So we are going to not do that. Whoa. Return to mission area. Okay, yeah, we're hitting the edge of the map over there. Interesting. Alright, I guess maybe we can go down this way instead. I thought there's a big mountain here obviously, so that's not going to be the easiest way to cross. In that case, let us just jump over to this settlement site. Let's go talk to Priya. Whoa, that's weird. Okay, so everything's been restored. Excellent. Let's, you are in here, obviously. I'm going around the backside. Oh look, we got shuttles coming in. We didn't have shuttles coming in before. I don't quite understand why I can't... Well, like, when I'm running, if I hit space, it won't let me jump. I have to actually stop running to jump, which is interesting. Excuse me, sorry about that. Send someone to the resistance... Pathfinder, my scouts told me about your run-in with the architect. The architect. people to that thing. Drill technicians who went there on an expedition. It's over now. I pacified it. You won't get any more trouble. I should have known about it in the first place. I was supposed to protect those scientists. At least I know the rest of my people are safe. Thanks to you. All right, cool. Uh, your people. I tracked down your missing drill techs. Oh, jeez, really? They didn't make it. 
I'll send a team out to recover the bodies. They deserve a proper burial. And Pathfinder, thank you. That seems a little backwards. Funny. <laughs> I should head out. Come back if you need anything. All right, so there we go. We spoke with Priya. So if we go back into here, I think now if we go to Pilia's assignments and yes, oh, we don't even have Voiled, Vold. Vold is not even on here anymore. We've done everything. Excellent. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of other things that we still need to kind of like work on as well. Oh, and I got some skills. I got 15, 15 points. Um, yeah, one thing I should probably take a look at is some of these other ones at some point too, but we'll see. Um, I do want to try and get these all the way up. So with our 15 points, I think I looked at these, that's melee damage, melee. I don't really get up and close to personal that much. So I think I'm gonna go for the biotic damage. And then also we have nine more points. We can go into here, uh, increase. Duration of biotic power effects by 10% per affected enemy. That's interesting. Or area of effect radius. Um, so like how did we, what is this here? 15% biotic area effect. So we've got an area effect already here. We've got combo damage. And then, so this would give us even more area effect and more area effect. So radius and force. So our combos would be even better. Increased duration of biotic power effects by 10% per affected enemy. So if I can get more people in them, it, it increases its biotic effect by 10% duration. So you know what, I think it will go this way. There we go. And then we got three points left. So we only need three more points and then we can get our last barrier up and then we'll, we'll pick on one of these guys. Pick on. We'll pick one of these guys to work on next. Confirm. Oh, a deck adept profile at rank four. All right, cool. Uh, and then we also have looks like four points for Jal. So we could get him none of these ones yet, but we probably should at least get these up to level three. So let's get his grenades up one more one more level, and then PB. We'll get her, she's got six points. Ooh, she could get invasion up to level four. I kind of want it, uh, if them all have at least their level three. That means that we can't do anything else at the moment, but there we go, confirm. All right, so yeah, that's all those skills. Uh, there's nothing else to do on here unless we run into somebody. So I think it's time to head back to the Tempest. Actually, we have a science station on here somewhere, don't we? I bet you we can make that Pathfinder armor. Uh, I can't zoom in enough. That's the map. There is a science station. Well, I guess we also have one on the Tempest, don't we? Instead of like searching around forever. Let's just jump back onto the Tempest. Say hi to our crew, see what's going down. The temperature is falling, Pathfinder. All right. Depart the planet. Uh, yeah, I'll have to come back to do the mining. That shouldn't be a problem, hopefully. I always am a little bit worried about like these type of loading screens that uh, it might send us down a path where it can't do everything that I want to do. But it, but it looks like we can go back to EOS, so it should be fine. All right, so. Is waiting for your call, Pathfinder. Right. Pathfinder, you have new email. That's actually a bug, supposedly, that they fix, is that he used to tell you you had new email all the time, even when you didn't. Um, but we definitely have new email. So, Ryder, there's a report of Ansari refugees on EOS. They made it. Might know about their arc too. Let's talk to, uh, let's talk when you have time. Yes, let's do, okay, Cora. So we need to talk to Cora. And then Turians on Havaral. That's the next planet we have to go to. Um, I'm getting reports about Turian sightings on Havaral since, an, an, uh, since it's an Angaran world, I was hoping you could check it out. Apex isn't noted for their diplomatic talents. <laughs> <laughs> this needs discretion. All right, cool. So those are missions, I think, because they have those little things beside them. 
Uh, so exercise in futility. Your crew has, I'm gonna move this mouse pointer. Uh, your crew has started a regular poker game to try to improve their skills and try to beat me. Um, I bet it was PB's idea. They've even roped poor Jal into it. <laughs> Who's saying this? This is from from Gil. Okay, so I won't uh, I won't be needing a raise anytime soon. I believe there's going to be an infusion of funds coming my way. <laughs> He's a little cocky. If I was one for emotions, there'd be. Uh, goofy smile face right here. Nice. All right, so he's pretty happy. All right, so this is from Liam. Heads up. First thing I did after Aya, figure out who to really talk to because we all know the one in uh, the ones in charge. They're not the they're not on the ground. Jal has some pointers, and I have and I got some names from smaller agar and Garin colonies. It'll be a while before they trust us, but it's all about exposure. Saw it all the, I uh, saw it all the time in crisis response, especially post post combat zones. Low console Verand. If you see any messages from her, it's just me reaching out. Costa. All right. Liam has indicated or included a small list of media themed to first contact. Genesis includes hard science fiction and a sorry avid about first contact with humanity titled How They Must See Us. Interesting. Or vid, not avid. Uh, so let's go down here. What do we got? So Pathways. So this is from Chief Lucan. Uh, this rock you found is certainly something. As far as I can tell, is that is that the one we found with the mushrooms? Or no, that was, that was a biological thing. Um, oh, this was the one that had the... Uh, I think it had the um, the dogs protecting it or whatever, right? Or the ones that have been called to it. As far as I can tell, it's a remnant of a meteoroid that passed through the surge before falling to Vold, infusing it with a similar charge. The presence of Helios native me metallic elements within the, the rock may have allowed for such a transfer. I'm unsure why the, uh, the Adhi reacted to it the way that they did. I've stored it in a lead tinned box. It unnerves me. Lead tin, it's like it's super, I can't find out what's in there either. As part of over, overseeing the crew's physical and mental welfare, I thought I'd send along the following tips for a balanced diet, given the large amount of exercise you partake each day. <laughs> it's important that your body receives the nutrients it needs. Carbohydrates, 10 or 5 to 11 servings a day, fruits and vegetables, uh, proteins, fats. Okay, interesting. Thanks, Lexi. Uh, communications from Jal, Pathfinder, writer of the Human Initiative. Well, that's very formal. <laughs> I've heard privately from Ephra, the leader of our resistance. It's very, uh, he's very impressed that we were able to help the op squad on Vold, and I've made sure that he knows what you played, that you paid a that you paid a key role. Maybe it's already said, maybe he's already said these things to you, but if not, I know Ephra, he probably hasn't. As for me, I've learned a lot about trust, being on this team, letting myself be open to trusting you and the others. I've learned that trust is more of a feeling than a science, and it seems like it is a universal truth. Universal, get it? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> He's good at the jokes. I'll try to be even more trustful in the future. This assignment might be, or this assignment might change my life. Good night, Jal. Mail from Angara Resistance Headquarters. Um, I should actually probably be. Oh, news. Okay, so we've got these. Okay, let's just quickly. I'll, I'll archive these as we go. Um, I could use your help with some something Hanley's working on. I don't fully understand, so I'll, I'll let her explain it to you, or I'll, yeah, whatever, basically the same thing. Uh, she's, she'll brief you when you get here. Okay, so let's archive that. Um, I believe we can archive these because they've probably been made into missions for us already, so let's archive all of these. All right, so since your liberation of the labor camps on Vold, some information has come to my attention. For years, the Ket ignored our work in the frozen city of Ja Nik 
Nick, searching for details of our buried past didn't seem to threaten them. One day, we must have uncovered something that the Ket deemed extremely dangerous. They invaded the city, killing or enslaving our archaeological team, and locked it down. Intel from the labor camp seems to confirm that what have, to this point, been only been crazy rumors. There may be an ancient pre-scourge AI locked in the ice in the depths of the city. Yeah, we found that. This explains the, uh, the prefect's swift and violent move. I've heard that the, the cat shun tech like artificial intelligence, and they certainly wouldn't want us to have it. Please keep this knowledge to yourself. So who did this come from? Confidential Vlod Intel. Commander, okay, interesting. Yeah, we are definitely into the AI ourselves, so the uh, the cat aren't going to like us. Uh, what did you send me? At first, I thought it was a joke, but no, you sent me a hostile AI. <laughs> Ryder <laughs> uh, got hers uh, set up all cozy and tethered to Sam Node, but not before she spaced a couple of crates of supplies headed for the for for pro ro mo, pro, for Pod Romos for promo Promotos and displ uh, displace the gravity in the Pathfinder HQ. I didn't tell Ton of the others. For now, this will be our little secret. Really, wow. We went and helped, and, and that's what the AI does. Actually, we had, what was this over here? Okay, that's just the archive mail, it looks like, yeah. All right, very good. All right, so let's talk with Suvi. The discovery of Aya was just what we needed, Ryder. The Angaran scientists have been so generous in sharing their wisdom. It, it's been amazing. It will be a help. Not like with the cat. Yeah, uh, let's go this way. Angaran expertise will be a tremendous help at the initiative. We were certainly hurting for it. Yeah. I'm thankful the Angara were willing to risk working with us. I'm afraid not all of them are quite so friendly. Some give trust easily. From others, you have to earn it. I'm confident we'll get there. Mm -hmm. All right, so these are all ones that we've done. There was an update too that actually these will be highlighted if there's more conversation points now. They won't be, because uh, I always thought if they were darkened like this, then then, then that there was nothing here. more, um, which is now actually the case. So there we go. Or at least that's what the uh, the, the change log said. So let's talk with Kalo. Oh, useful. That leg of my workbench needed propping up. If you bothered reading it, you'd know that the Tempest is an orchestra of new tech. You can't <laughs> just meddle with. I got this ship launch ready in record time, Callo. I know my stuff. And you don't have a shred of respect for other people's. Callo. <laughs> oh, Ryder. Sorry you had to hear that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, that was the email terminal. Actually, let's go into you these rooms AVP first. Outstanding, Pathfinder. I have AVP outstanding. Oh, okay, this is the weapons locker. And there's nothing in here. Maybe something will happen in here eventually, but not right now. Let's go through this door. No, uh, uh, no peeking. What? Putting the finishing touches on my personal project. <laughs> I thought you said it was on the Nexus. I'm just perfecting the final component here, or should I say trying to. What are you Several doing? Several of the crew have offered to help, and I keep politely declining and ushering them out. Yeah, they want to know what you're so, doing. So, thank you for retrieving that critical piece of rem tech. But kindly, stop digging. All right, all right. I can't help it. Eee. So you're going to like that? I'm naturally curious, and I'm sure the crew just wants to bond. Curious is good. Builds anticipation. <laughs> I'll leave the bonding to you. Not my style. There we I go. realize it must be hard being the Pathfinder and not being able to know everything. Yes, tell but me. There's so much you can do that no one else can. It's safe to say that you, my friend, are one of a kind. Uh huh. I think she's flirting with us. I'm kind of starting to think we should just flirt with everybody. <laughs> you scratch the surface. You have no idea what all I can do. Oh God. <laughs> no, but I have an active imagination. Oh my God. I goodness. look forward to being educated. Wow. No okay, that's definitely flirting. The next time you're on the Nexus, my project will be done. Come by, and I'll unveil it. Now, if you will, please leave me to my own devices. All right. What are you doing in there? All right. Uh, nothing else that we can see in here. 
so let's take a look at the ship layout again. We haven't been on this ship in a while. So we've been to, that's PB, we've been to Kalo, we've been to Suvi. We've got Korra over here, but I think we get to her from going down this and going around this way. The bio lab, the tech lab, up on the upper levels, we don't have anybody. And then on the lower levels, okay, so we have Drock and Vetra downstairs. Okay, so we'll, we'll start, let's see here. Let's start by heading down this way to the this level you first. Poker is its own kind of thrill. <laughs> You're not playing with you. I'll play. <laughs> really? Gambling doesn't seem like your style. Why? Because I have more degrees than you have fingers. <laughs> Shots fired. All right, Doc. You're on. Uh huh. She just wants to get you in your head. All right, let's talk to Gil. I think this would be a fun conversation. Okay, Gil. The Angara was super curious about the ship. If you were pretty bold, ask me questions. What do you make of them? They know their shit. Quick minded, sharp. They'll make good allies. You and Kalo. Okay, so that's the only one that's lit up. Let's go over there. How was it already? What's the deal with you and Kalo? Anything I should be concerned about? Uh, twist my arm, why don't you? It, it's contrasting styles more than anything. He's a blueprint guy. I'm gears and guts. Got ink on his digits, not grease, up to his elbows. If you didn't have me to balance him out, you might be in trouble. <sighs> Heck, maybe that goes both ways. <laughs> I think it does. All right. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. All right, how about you, Lexi? Yes. Uh, we come into that. Okay, these are there's no more chitty chat with you, I I'll guess. I'll get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. All right, and then we definitely had Liam over here in the corner. Hi, Liam. Pathfinder. Hey, I was wondering, could you put your stamp on a project? It's for me and Joel to work on. Call it diplomacy if you have to put it in a budget bucket. Greenlight that research and it's all good. All right, well, what is it? I'm interested in you. Thought on the squad. Thoughts on the squad. Greenlight the research. Well, where do I greenlight the research? Thoughts on the squad. What's your read on the people we're working with? The squad and crew? They're all fine. You must have opinions. Your opinion's more important. What do you think of your people? Uh, we're a strange mix, capable but untested. Sure, let's go with that. Everyone has the training, but this job is all new every day. That's probably what the Nexus is counting on. That our skills fit together to make it work. Up to yep. us to figure it out. That's why this is our ship. So we own it. Want to make it work. All right. Well, I said we we're going to flirt with everybody, so here we go. <laughs> Just stopping in to show some interest and see if it might be returned. Oh, <laughs> flat earth, brother. But I'm not into guys. Thanks, though. Still, answer me this. Would I be a one-night thing, or do I read his marriage material? Short-term, long-term. Oh, God, really? Um, I didn't want to commit to anything. Let's see here. Short-term. Long-term. <laughs> so silly. Uh, let's go short-term? I don't know. One night, all night. So good, it's awkward. <laughs> like that conversation? Someone will be a lucky guy. Oh my good. We'll talk later. <laughs> I know it. Oh goodness. Okay, that was worth it just for the awkward conversation. Oh, why track his project? Is it on the Build Liam's Research Project? Let's take a look. Uh, da, da, da. Build Liam's Research Project. Where is this? So that must be... I don't think it's on the ship, is it? Can we bring this up? Or is it? Oh, we gotta go to the research room and then build his project. Interesting. So that's... Not up here, right? This is just the console for talking. Actually, let's just quickly go check it. Make sure there's nothing on the vidcom. 
Oh, there is. Oh, we got to call Ephra. Right. Um, well, actually, you know what? We're at time. So we will call Ephra at the beginning of the next episode, and then we'll talk with everybody else on the ship, and then see what's going down. All right. Um, have a great one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.